Hey everybody, it's Betty, and today we're going to talk about uh, another mechanical aspect which you guys can improve, and this one's going to be the location hotkeys. Now, I'm sure many of you already know the basics of these location hotkeys, but for those of you who don't, we're going to go into it and also show uh, instances of when you can use them and how you can practice them as well so you can get better at using them. So, let's say I have five as my main, six is my natural and seven is my third base so i've got one two three and i can move between the two or all of them pretty fast now let's say i'm here and i'm doing all these buildings and stuff checking my upgrades and clicking around oh yes bum 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 and i decide i need to go to my natural so that i can check on my units there and do the same sort of thing now a lot of players will actually do this they will drag down they'll have a faster screen scroll and i'll set that up which i don't usually use but I'll show you, so they increase the mouse scroll like this so they can go, oh, 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 back here, oh, get the fire, oh, yes, consume, oh, yes, whoa, whoa, yes, yes, go, consume, consume, drag back here, select, click, 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 drag over here, yes, I've got my overlords, oh, yes, overload here. Now, the problem with um, doing what's called screen scrolling is, which is when you move your mouse to the edge of the screen and scroll your screen, problem with it is that it's almost always going to be slower than just clicking on the minimap so I can click on the minimap there click here click here click here and I can like grab everything just by clicking whereas screen scrolling over that overlord would take longer and be a little bit harder to get accurately so instead of screen scrolling the first thing that you should be doing is that uh, for example let's say I move my army out here into the middle of the map and I haven't got a hotkey because I've, I've failed terribly so what am I going to do? I've only got these two hotkeys and I want to check on my army. Now I could screen scroll over here but that's going to take like a couple of seconds which is really slow so if I'm at my main and I want to check on my army just so I'm doing all this here I just move my mouse to the minimap click it and boom I'm right there. Now ideally though you should have at least part of your army hotkeyed so if we go back to our main base here and I want to go over to here instead of actually reaching over on the minimap and clicking I can actually double tap one which is my hotkey for the army and I'm immediately back to my uh, back to my unit so instead of doing the screen scrolling here and trying to get over it to like this and then running back over here and ooh 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 then um, instead I've managed to get to my army extremely quickly now let's say I had a second group over here just wait for that to get over and we'll do our upgrades, oh yes yes oh yes, many upgrades, oh yes good, 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 good. okay so now I want to I've gone to my army here and I'm like oh I can see on the minimap that I've got a little bit more army here is it okay for me to screen scroll? Now in this case, because it's so close, that's essentially going to be the fastest, most accurate way to do it. Like you could mouse click, but it's actually going to be because like whatever you're going to do, you're going to need your mouse in this area. So if you're moving it down here, it's like not that big of a deal to move it back. So it's just do it, do it, do it. So in this case, I would say it's acceptable to screen scroll if you just want to move very small micro motions like that to be able to get there. However, if these guys were down here, just a little bit further down, it's too slow to screen scroll, so you should instead either have them on a hockey so that you can go like this, or else you should reach over on the minimap and click, click, select, click, oh, click, swarm, swarm, and then click here, swarm, swarm, yes. Okay, so the, the last thing that we're going to talk about for this is um, location hotkeys for your camera location. So. If you're using your unit hockey, that's all very well and good. But here's um, let's say I had this here. This is uh, let's pretend this this is a shuttle instead of lurkers inside. It's got two high templar and the Protoss guy is running them in, and he's going to drop them and storm all of my drones. So he, let's say I have a spotting overlord here, and I notice it. So I'm like, I see it on the map, and he's coming into. Oh, let's get rid of that screen scrolling because I can't stand it being that high. It's terrible. So he's coming in, and we've noticed him. What is the fastest way? So let's say we're over here and, and we see this dot and it's moving in and we're like, oh man. So we know how to click here, right? Grab the drones and then what? We can click here and right click those. And then because we right click the minerals, they stack on top of each other and go like that. And there's a good chance that the storm will only get the end half of it. Or if it's slow, we might even dodge it entirely, which is extremely good. Now let's send these guys back to our, let's see now. Unfortunately, that's not actually the quickest way because we have to, like, like we're here, and we have to move our mouse from whatever we're doing all the way over to here, click, all back up here, select drones, 
click on the minimap again and select here, which is quite a lot of mouse movement and clicking, and unfortunately it's not the quickest way. So, instead of doing that, we use what we call screen hotkeys. Now, a screen hotkey is just basically um, a camera location. So this is your camera, let's say th th this is the location right here, and uh, you can jump to it the same way that you use 1 to jump to this location, 2 to jump to that location. But what we're doing is the F2, F3, and F4 keys. So let's, for example, set up this one. You hold down Shift and press F2. So now wherever you are, whenever you press F2, you jump back to that same location. I'm just pressing F2 here. And that's bringing me back to that location. Now that's extremely good when you have bases, because if I have F2 as that base, and I have F3 as that base, and F4 as that base, now in this case, if he sends in this drop here, and I'm over here and I'm doing my stuff and I see it, and I go boom, boom, F2, uh, sorry, so I'll just explain what I did there. I see the um, drop is coming in, so I'm back here, and I see the drop is coming in. I'm doing this, and I see the drop, so what I do is I press F4 to get to here, select the drones, and I could do a control click, but I go. I normally go for this because I just want the mineral ones, the gas ones normally uh, less of a problem. You want to grab as many as possible of the mineral ones here, so I grab, grab those, and I press F3 to go back to my natural, and I right click those. And if you look here, they immediately go and stack here. That is the fastest way that you can get rid of those drones. So let's just have a little bit of an example. I've got this guy on one, and this guy on two. So I'm going to send two drops in at once. Okay, and I'm back here at my base doing my stuff. And then I notice I'm like one, two, and three, and four, and done. Just like that, his drop has completely failed because my screen hotkeys were set up correctly at my bases, and I was able to get rid of them. Now there is another instance which you can um, have your screen hotkeys uh, in a very useful manner, not just for drops but for other things. So let's say, usually you would have this, not so much for a Zerg player necessarily, but for um, Terran and Protoss player particularly, if you have all your gateways and your barracks and your factories all in roughly one screen area, then you can use say F2 as, um, as your barracks. And then let's say this is your rally point out by your bridge, F3 is there, so I go F2, F3, F2, F3. So you can have F4 as like one of your bases, one you think is most likely to be a drop perhaps. Or um, possibly you could do it on your upgrade, something like that, but most people would do it on one of their bases. And then you've got your barracks and stuff here. So the reason this is good is you can be running your, you've got your armies running around, right? So you've got your armies running around, you're doing your micro, oh yes, micro, 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 oh yes, swarm, go swarm. Yes, oh, oh, micro, oh, micro, 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 oh, swarm, swarm, swarm. And then you're doing this and you're like, oh, my macro cycle just completed and I want to go back to macroing. So what you do, just press F2 and you build your stuff, boom, 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 boom. And then you go F3 and you grab your next group of units, which is already just created, and you grab them and you like add them to your hockey or whatever and then you're back in action like that. There's one final thing about the screen hotkeys which is extremely useful, particularly again for Terran and Protoss players. Let's say I have these um, here and it's a little bit later in the game and I don't have enough hotkeys left to be able to um, hotkey all of them because I've got a whole lot of army and upgrade buildings and so on and so forth. So I want to reassign the rally point. So at the moment let's 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 um, let's put the rally point here on the map. So I'll click here on the map. And it's just inside my uh, natural here. So Instead of uh, manually clicking and selecting where we want to, clicking on the minute selecting, what we can do is we've already got this on F2, so then we, we've we already got our rally point um, camera location, so just move the camera point location. So let's say we wanted to rally to the center of the map. So we go Shift F3, so F2, F3, and I select F3, right click, select F3, right click, select uh, F3, right click, F2, select F3, right click. So now all four of those have got their uh, rally point reset to being in the middle of the map here. So when you get quite adept at this, you can do it pretty fast. And I'm pretty slow because Zerg players generally don't have to do this. So then let's say we wanted to move them over here. So we go boom. Oh, that was a fail. And basically we've got all of those set up uh, here. So if I go like this, see, there's all the rally points. Got them all set up in an extremely quick amount of time, which is extremely good in the middle of a game when you're doing all your fancy macro and you go, oh yes, macro, 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 and you can go, oh, I need to re rally here, so I go, oh, da, do, da, do, da, do, da, and then done. So that's pretty much the main uses of screen hockeys is like running workers away and uh, you doing your rally points. And some people could also, if you've got all your, your um, buildings hockeys filled up, 
you could use them for macro as well. So let's say I have, again, I've got this here is F2, this here is F3, and this here is F4. So let's say I don't have these hatcheries hotkey, that is 5, 6, 7, but instead I've got um, army on everything. So I've got like that on 5, that on 6, and that on 7. So I, I can't do anything um, with a hotkey. So instead, I'm microing, 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 and I want to go build some drones. I go, that F2, boom, boom, and there you go, I've got some drones building immediately. Um, in terms of ways you can practice this, just at the start of the game, don't hotkey your hatchery and or your command center or your nexus. Instead, use your hotkeys to um, go to it. However, you don't want to get in too much of a habit of doing this because you do want to have those buildings on hotkeys usually. That's just for uh, practicing for, say, like a week or so. And after that week's over, go back to um, using actual building hotkeys, 5, 6, and 7, or whatever you've got for your building hotkeys. Thank you guys for listening, and I'll see you guys next time.